All right, so the first thing you want to do is you want to open up the app. Uh, so let's open up this app. Okay. Um, first step of all steps, of course, is to record a video. Okay. You want to click on the record uh, tab. Okay. Once it opens up, as you can see, there is a, in the middle section at the bottom, there's a record button. Press that button to record all your, um, your time sensitive or time gathering um information at that point all right and once you're done recording it's easy click the record button again and it stops the recording and then what happens is you just click done all right so the next step is to actually go to your video and set your markers now you want to set your markers for your time all right so you click you open a video uh, in this case we uh we filmed some uh, practice shots of a bmx uh practice run so we're going to use that a perfect example all right so the first thing we want to do is find the starting point to set our first marker, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to zoom in on this video and just start to search for the first movement of the gate. All right, let's move the menu out the way. Let's uh, look for the first movement of the gate, and this will help us determine where our starting point should begin, okay? All right, and we're almost there. Uh, uh, here we go. Okay, here we go. All right, so we want to make sure we get the right starting point. So let's zoom right in just enough amount for us to see what we're doing, right? <laughs> All right, so as you can see, the first gate movement is right here. There you go. You see that big movement? That's where we're going to set our first starting marker, right there. And how you do that? Just click Start, and your marker is there, okay? Let's move the menu out the way. Now let's get the finishing points, okay? Let's zoom in. All right, so once we zoom in, we want to make sure we get uh, ex the exact time the tire hits that finishing line, okay? So let's kind of drag it slowly. Up, oh, there we go. Up, oh, right there. We found our finishing point. Let's drop this menu down and click Finish, which will set our timer for the first rider's finishing mark, okay? Now let's go to the next rider's finishing point. Uh, let's move this out the way. You click Finish again which will add another finishing marker and for that last rider you do the same thing okay we're about right there and you click finish okay let's move this out the way alright once we have our starting and finishing markers we can now use our data sheet so we just want to click done uh, move back and now we want to click on new data sheet and once we do that we have a blank page of, uh, of cells, okay? So we want to click a certain cell uh, for our time to record into. So we click a box. And once we click the box, at the bottom left-hand corner, you'll see a plus sign. At that plus sign, we want to click on it. There should be four icons that pop up. It should be a text, uh, text icon, a calendar icon, a stopwatch icon, and a folder icon. For this particular tutorial, we want to use the video we just recorded to set the time. So all we would do is click the, fo the video folder, uh, choose the video we just recorded, and there you have it. All your times are in there for each rider from start to finish of this race. All right, guys, thanks for watching this first tutorial for Seconds Count. Please drop a comment in the comments section, like the video, and also share it. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel for more tutorials that will be on the way.